Hey there, it's Lori. Um, I am here today to show you another use for press and seal. Um, I have piles of die cuts, um, and the die cuts are from my favorite things, Fall Florals. I am going to uh, stamp a bunch off camera, and then I'll come back to show you what I'm going to do with the press and seal. Okay, so now I'm back and I have all of these die cuts stamped and um, all of the flowers and everything coordinate. So I know that I can just pick from this pile, add them to my card front, and um, everything will match. So I have two things that I'm going to do first. I love to score my card fronts. If you follow my blog, you know that I do this quite often. Um, I'm going to use my little score buddy and press this up against the left side and then I'm just going to score quickly on every half inch until I get to the bottom. And once I get to the bottom, I'm going to stop at one inch. This leaves a little space here for a sentiment. So I'm going to place my card down here on the Misty. And I'm going to use um, Get Well Soon from Delicate Pretty Poppies from My Favorite Things. I'm going to place this quilt grid right down in the in the corner. And I know one inch, that scored line is right about here. And I want that to be centered. So that'll go perfectly right there. Alright, I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to ink this up. And I'm going to stamp that down. So the next thing I'm going to do is arrange these flowers. I already have these pulled out just because I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. But um, layering these flowers now on this scored card base, this just gives us a nice clean and simple background. I'm going to go ahead and add these in and just play with them until I can come up with a, a good arrangement. I'm using these little stems for just some extra greenery. So that's basically how I want my arrangement to look. Now, you know, at this point, normally you either take a picture of this so you can recreate it, or you just try to get lucky and hope that you can get it back just like you had it. You want to arrange it the second time just like you have the first time. So I am going to take a piece of press and seal. Sticky side down, right up on top of the card, and press straight down. Just rub around a little bit so you can get all of those flowers and stems stuck straight onto the press and seal. And then you're going to just pull that up off of the card. If anything's not moving, you can just press down. And then you have your whole arrangement perfectly onto the piece of uh, press and seal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take some glue, um, just Tombow Mono liquid glue, and I'm going to go ahead and add little dots of glue to everything that I can see here and even some to the to the bottom if you don't get that very bottom layer of flowers don't worry about that I'll show you how to do that in the next step okay so the nice thing about this is you can center this position it exactly where you want it anywhere on the card front I'm gonna bring it down from where I originally had it and kind of put it right around my sentiment in the center of the card and then press down. And then you want to go back and just gently peel it up off of the card base. You can press those flowers down if you think they're starting to come up. 
Now that top layer of flowers, if it comes up again, that's fine. Just lift that up. Actually, I'm going to take that yellow one as well. Lift that right up with the press and seal again. I'm going to put glue on these bottom two flowers. I'm going to leave that top one because I'm going to put some foam tape in. But this time you can just go back in and center those again right where you had them. Press them down. And this little flower right here I'm going to put a little block of foam tape. And then those will stick right down. I'm going to put a little block of foam tape on the back of this flower and then just center that just so we have one pop with a little bit of dimension. So that basically makes a lot of rearranging in one simple step with one piece of press and seal. So to finish this card off I'm going to add a few little rainstones. I'm going to put down a little bit of glue. And I'm just going to randomly place some of these rainstones. Just dab a little bit of glue. I use this quick stick um, with the little sticky end to pick up the raindrops and then add glue that way. I think we're going to go with that. So. That is it. Um, just a really easy way to glue down your arrangement and um, another fun way to use press and seal. Some really fun stuff to have in your craft room. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have questions, definitely just send me an email. Thank you so much for stopping in.